We're just waiting on guests. It's Monday Mojo, October 23rd, 2023. And we are waiting for all of our beautiful guests to come in. And here is Heather, our guest speaker for tonight. Hello, hello, Heather. Hello. How are you? Are you ready? I'm nervous as anything, but we'll be fine. You are fine. You're going to do great. This I is know, a I great know. opportunity for you. I'm so proud. Now, did you think about something to give um, anyone? The free membership for the... the awesome. The free membership. Because, yeah. So, so... I want it to be a lot of a conversation with people rather than a presentation. So I want to get interaction by people. Perfect. It's your time. Yes. And um, did you finish up on your packing tips or 10 best tips for packing or you were working on I, them? I had kind of done that, but I wasn't happy. I did post it, but I know it could have been much better. So Okay, that's fine. Have, they want to offer if they book a call from you that they will get a free 10 tip how to pack for a trip template. And you can do that after your, you know, after your talk with them. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. perfect. I love it. Okay, I'm going to start letting people in. It just seems like everyone's getting slower and slower. Is, Is this okay that this background or would yes. you prefer me to go back to no, Monday it's morning? Fine. It's fine. You're the presenter. You're talking about travel. I'm going to fix mine really, really quick. <laughs> I forget. So I, I want to bring it to your attention, but do I need to change mine? <laughs> no, just tell me, <laughs> you Heather. You thinking without calling you out, going you did no. it wrong. <laughs> you know, I started at 5 a.m. this morning. So by the time this time of the night rolls around, I'm like, so. All right, here yeah. we go. Thank you, I, Heather. I woke up at 3.30 this morning, and I've been just, so my you know. mind's been going and going. It's like, yeah. ah, slow down. <laughs> exactly. All right, here we go. Hello, 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 Tamara. It's just now 6 p.m., so we are waiting on everyone to get here. We should have several in the house tonight. Tamara's trying to get her audio to work. And while we're waiting on everyone, Heather, go ahead and put in, heat, start heating up our chat for us. And get your information put in, and I will do the same on my end. <clears throat> I'm going to be asking everyone tonight if there's any way I can share to their page for the November 4th event, or if you will um, promote it on your page for me, because we need to get as many people there as possible. You're fast. You're fast, girl. There you go. Way to go. Tamara, are you there? There's Abby. She's coming in the door now. Hello, ladies. Hey, Abby. Welcome, welcome. It's Monday Mojo time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right so oh we lost Tamara again she's I talked to her earlier today she couldn't get her audio to work and then she got it to work and then she couldn't get her video to work so it was in and out so hopefully she'll be there she is again and I know Dar's right behind you right Abby yep all right I'm gonna make you host if you don't mind Abby so you can help me watch for there's Tamara and I know, Tamara, I still owe you a Monday Mojo background. Uh, my team is from um, the majority of them, not all of them, but the majority of them are from India, and they're already doing their holiday time this week. So 
they were out part of last week and part of this week. And I'm a little lost without them, to be honest with you. And the ones that are not gone don't do backgrounds and things. So, you know, it's okay. We'll get them all there. I don't know how I missed Tamara on the Monday Mojo. But what I do. Are, what? That's all right. We'll get you there. I've got a note for them. Um, okay, so um, I know that we're waiting on four more. But like I told Heather, if everyone will, go ahead and put your information into the chat. Make sure we can reach out to you. Abby, are you eating ice cream in front of us? Yeah, a small <gasps> little dish of it. What, what yes. flavor? Um, cookie dough, I think. Okay, I was going to say chocolate chip, it looks like, from here. But yeah, it could be cookie dough. Has anyone tried the Wendy's Pumpkin Frosty yet? Mm -mm. Well, I wanted to try it yesterday, and then we went to town, and then I forgot. We went by it not once, but twice, and still <laughs> forgot to stop by Wendy's. So I don't need it, by the way. I, I do not need ice cream, but I do love me some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, But let's heat up the chat, please. Hello, hello, Teresa. And if you guys will go ahead and heat up the chat, um, Luana is having trouble getting in. So let me see if I can help her real quick. Um, okay, no, okay. You're muted, Dar. Hello. <laughs> I was saying, hi, Heather, how are you? Good, how are you, Dar? Uh, enjoying my ice cream. Is it the same flavor as flavor, Abby? I'm sorry. I I asked Dar if she had the same flavor as you. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pouring ice cream out this week. <laughs> <laughs> so um just do all of you, I don't know if in Canada, do you guys have Brahms? Have what? Brahms, it's a restaurant ice cream place, B R A U M S. No. So Brahms no, is it. like an ice cream place, but they also have burgers and uh, French fries, things like that. Teresa, do you and Tamara and have Brahms in your area? We have DQ. Yeah. Oh, DQ. Now those are great yeah. too. Yes, the Blizzards. Yes, but Brahms is even cheaper than DQ. What? Yes, we can go and get two shakes, two small shakes for five dollars and seventeen cents. What wow. places you can't get one shake for five dollars and seventeen cents? So it costs five dollars and thirteen cents for a chocolate dip cone here. Oh, medium sized chocolate so, dip. Cone. I'm just comparing the prices. Yes. So let me tell you, um, do you guys have a bluebell ice cream in Canada? No. Um, it's, it's worth the dairy here. Dr. Luana, do you guys have bluebell ice cream in your grocery stores? So, yes. In fact, I had some yesterday. Yes. I love bluebell ice cream. It's the creamiest that I've ever found that's in a uh, you know, you go to the store and you buy. It's very creamy. But my goodness, mm -hmm. Dr. Lawana, $9.25 we paid this last one. For one. one. For one. Wow. I told my husband, do we really need it? And he said, yes, because the grand boys were coming and they're going to want chocolate shakes. <laughs> <laughs> right, <row. laughs> so. He's right. Well, you know, we can't have the grandbabies come without their favorite things in the house. But that's now that's ridiculous, people. That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. For a half a gallon of ice cream. Nine dollars and a quarter. Carbon tax. I, I just don't. Carbon tax in here in the US? No. No? No. Mm. I'm, I'm sure we have some other kind of tax, but no, we don't have that one. So, all right. Well, welcome, welcome everyone for Monday Mojo. Go ahead and get the chat warmed up. Let's get all of our information. 
our websites. Our, I mean, I'm going to tell you, I've never been to Dr. Luana's website. So Dr. Luana, I need your website address so I can get in there. Play around. Find out exactly what Luana is hiding from us. Well, actually, I'm building a website right now. The only thing I have is a blog site. You're welcome well, to that. It's I would love Luana's to. Blog .com. <laughs> so now are you going to add your blogs to your website when you get your website up? I'm going to put I'm going to put in my link tree and it'll have access to everything about me. OK, good, because. Um, on my website, we're adding the blogging pages to it. So everything's housed in one area because I don't want to be scrambling around. I'm glad you're using the link tree. I have not figured that thing out yet. Yeah, well, I'm still <laughs> learning too, you know, but. Um, so many pieces. It's been a blessing. We have to learn. We should learn. I, I'm not going to say have to learn. We should learn. It makes our lives easier. That's why they have it. Dr. Pat's in the house. She just finished her all-day uh, summit on Saturday. I'm sure she's exhausted, so we're very fortunate to have her with us tonight. Awesome, Dr. Pat. Hi, Dr. Pat. Hi, hi. How's everybody? Hi, Dr. Pat. <laughs> yes, we are all awesome. We are warming up the chat with all of our information. Make sure you get your phone numbers in there. Maybe I want to text you at 3 a.m., it's okay. <laughs> you can text me at 3 a.m. because my phone is on sleep mode. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so is mine. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, there's another platform that I used to deal with, and Dr. Pat did also. He's crazy, Dr. Pat. You know who I'm talking about. 2 a.m. last week. My phone goes off. It's a phone call. Now, any mother that gets a phone call at 2 a.m., before uh, I even answer the phone, I'm halfway dressing out the door towards a hospital, thinking someone has crashed or something. Uh, no, it was reminding me that they were going to have something on Monday. I almost felt like calling <laughs> California and having them arrested for something. I don't know what. So wow. <laughs> I tell my children, don't ever call me past 10 unless there's an issue. And no mother wants those calls. I've had that call one time with my youngest daughter. I never want it again either. Wow. A major car accident. And they called me like at 3 a.m. And I'm telling you, daddy couldn't catch up with me to get in the car when I left. I said, get in or get out. I'm gone. I am gone. I'm where the baby needs me the most. <laughs> I was at work and it was after five in the morning when I got that call. And I pray I never get another call like that again. No. And that no was when I lost my son. Late at night. No mother. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. All yep. right. So we are going to get started. Heather is here with us tonight. She is our guest speaker. Give her a round of applause. This is her first time speaking, and I just love it that we I'm are charmed there. getting it. <laughs> Good vibes, Heather. Heather has the floor for the next 25-ish minutes, and then, and we're going to uh, keep our um, mics uh, unmuted because she's going to have a conversation that she wants us to conversate with her, okay, instead of just to talk. So... Take it away, Heather. Thank you so much, LaDonna. I'm Heather Helferson from Nova Scotia, Canada. And thank you so much for honoring me with the chance to chat tonight. So I want to talk about travel. Where was the last place you traveled to? Who wants to answer that? Southern Illinois. I live in Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. It can Did be a weekend drive trip. There? An overnight trip? Yes, I did. And I had to share my space with my six-year-old great niece and she did not like it. <laughs> oh. She kept telling me to be quiet. What? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> when you get louder, right? <laughs> I, I gave her unsolicited help. And so I learned a lesson. If he didn't ask for it, don't give it. And... There you go. <laughs> <Not in. laughs> 
No more. You won't share that room with her again, will you, Teresa? <laughs> Not if she can help it. Well, I was wrong, and I still have to promptly admit it. I'm waiting for an in-person visit with her so I can applaud, apologize. So. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Go ahead, Heather. Uh, sorry. Anyone else? We went to, we went to uh, California and back. How long did that take know. you? Did you drive or fly? We drove. She drove. <laughs> How long does that take you to get from Canada where you're uh, at? Uh, it took us six weeks. <laughs> oh, wow. It was a six-week journey. Um, No, we. it took us... Have you heard that Bugs Bunny saying of uh, uh that that last, last turn at Albuquerque is is nasty or I can't remember it word for word. Well, it's true. <laughs> it's true, isn't it, Abby? Yeah, our car, our little van, minivan broke down right just be before we went into Albuquerque. Oh no! Oh, no. That's a bad place to break down. Yep. But anyway, we we made it through it. And yeah. ladies, we used to take a lot of road trips when we were younger, Mark and I. I mean, it started before we even got married and we would go from Texas to California, Texas to Florida, wherever we wanted to go. I'm just getting too old for that. I told him we, we, the, the last time I flew was two years ago. My uh, niece got married in Florida and I told my daughter. She was going with the baby and her husband. And they said, well, we want to drive. I said, okay, I'll meet you guys out there. I'm flying. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. So I, we all flew. And you know what? It was great. It was great. The airport was horrible, but it was great. We didn't have to worry about anything. We just left it to the pilot. We moved on. Uh, I don't fly. So if I can't drive, then I'm not going. The furthest <laughs> I've driven is to Louisiana. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Last time I went on a long drive was to, to Texas for a conference. Took me about almost about twenty eight hours to drive there from California. Oh so, yeah, it's yeah. A long no, I, I don't fly. Mm -hmm. No so fly. When you're doing these long car drives, what do you do to keep awake and and just motivated to keep going to your destination? <laughs> Coffee, music. Uh, <laughs> yep, coffee, music. My husband stops at the restaurants. <laughs> My husband always drinks Mountain Dew and rock music. <laughs> yeah. yeah, mine was country. Mm. I don't drive Pat, anywhere. She loves country. flying, don't you, Dr. Pat? You'll fly anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the only way I could get there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do whatever. You know, you know, risk is everywhere. So I'm that kind of person that believes when it's my time, it's just my time. Yeah, I'm just choosing. That's me. That when know. my time comes, I'll be on land, <laughs> not in the <laughs> air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Heather, go ahead. That's funny. That's awesome, though. Hey, so when you travel, what is the first thing you would pack? A suitcase. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, a suitcase. But what would you put in your suitcase? I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> My bathing suit. It's thundering outside. Yeah, too many pieces of clothes and shoes go into my suitcase. Mm -hmm. And I have to have my laptop and my tablet. In yes. case something happens to my phone, because my books are on those things. Yeah. I always uh, pack my um, flat iron, toiletries, makeup, shampoo, all of it. I don't want to use the hotels, whatever they got, because I have to have my own hair products and all. I got a yeah. separate bag for that. I like bringing my yeah. own towels from home. Oh. They're, they're and I carry toilet in paper small. in my purse in case I go into a restroom and they don't have toilet paper. Because that's <laughs> happened before. You don't or it, or it's so rough you don't want to use it. <laughs> I like my Charmin. 
<laughs> Don't you need a bag instead of a purse? Get too much other stuff in your purse. Well, I don't oh. know. You should see my I managed purse. to get it in there anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, do you overpack when you're traveling? Like, bring way, way too much stuff, or just not just a, the right amount, or too little? Too much. Oh, too much. I always too much. Over too much. I have to have clothes to choose from. Yes. Yep. It's always better to have and not need than need and not have. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're muted, Abby. Yeah. I pack. Am I on mute? No, you're good, oh, Dr. Pat. I pack my, I have to have my shoes, my purses that matches my shoes, my jewelry. Those are baby. First thing I lay everything out. I got to make sure my clothing is right. Yes. That's the first thing. Yeah. And of course, I have all the other toiletries and all that stuff. But my main, most important stuff is my clothes, my outfits. What I'm going to wear, what day, what match, everything got to match. Make sure I got the earrings, the right yeah. set, all that stuff. And if and I'm going somewhere that people are going to notice me, I don't want to wear the same clothes twice. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. uh, how about a good pair of walking shoes, right, Abby? Yes. <laughs> Always. You never know when you're going to walk, right? Or how long? <laughs> how far? Yeah. That makes a huge difference. Your shoes are key. But I love what Dr. Pat said, too, to make sure it goes with the whole ensemble. Yeah, I got to have it. Yeah. yeah, that first impression is always the last, a lasting impression. You know, but I mean, it depends on where you're time. going. Like you said, the shoes, you know, even when you're going out walking, you know, or going to wherever when you're traveling. Yeah, you got to have those comfortable shoes, you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, there was yep. one time when I went on a leadership conference, first time I'd ever done that, and I was not prepared. <laughs> what happened was I brought the kind of clothes I normally wear, only discovered that I was going to be climbing a tree. <laughs> I was going to be hanging from some left rungs on, on bars and a number of other things, falling off uh, uh, the scaffold they, they had put up. And... I mean, it was crazy, and everybody was so supportive of me. <laughs> I would have wow. never packed right either, Luana. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was totally off base in that, but nobody told me how to bring those things to. So yes. inappropriate shoes, inappropriate clothing, but I participated anyway. There you go. Now, were you close to a store where you could buy it? I know on cruise ship, it's it's very expensive to buy anything there. So you want to make sure you're close to a Target yeah. or a Walmart or something where you can quickly run in and say, hey, I have these red shoes and I'm missing my red lipstick and I have to have my lipstick, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Lord. Gotta have this lipstick. I love that when you're traveling, it's just like there's so much to think about, and it's like you just don't know what to expect. Yeah, I traveled. I traveled once to from Canada to Florida one time by bus, and I got there about two weeks before my luggage did. Oh, oh no! So I don't know what went wrong, but it it found me. It it eventually came to me, but two weeks after I was already there. No fun. Oh, Luan, I sent you something in the chat. Chat. Yeah, I'm looking. I just saved it, so I'm gonna put it don't, up. Don't now. say nothing. Don't say nothing. Yeah. Go ahead, um, Heather. Yeah, so I, I hear what Dar said for her bad experience. What bad experience <laughs> you had when you're traveling? Uh, what'd you say, Heather? Do you have a bad experience that you had when you were traveling? Yeah, our plane uh, that we had when it's a bad experience when the when they have problems uh, with the flights. And then you have to lay over and just wait, wait, wait. And then you get scared because you don't know what really, you know, you, you're scared to get on the next plane. That's for me. 
when they're having problems and they keep circling around, circling around, circling around. So, I mean, yeah, we was in there a long time. And it's scary. Because they're not going to tell you what's really going on, all of it, you know. So you just pray. I just pray. Yeah. And the turbulence kills me. I hate turbulence. Yeah. What would you do to calm yourself with the, all the turbulence? Pray. I pray and cry. Because when <laughs> it's happened before. Yeah, the turbulence got real bad. All I could do was cry and start praying out loud. I was out loud and lady next to me was rubbing me on the back, praying, telling me, honey, just calm down. We're going to be okay. But I said, oh, Lord, not now. I'm not ready to go, Lord. Please, Lord. I wasn't crying. I wasn't afraid of dying. At that time, that year, I had not updated all of my documents. I was more worried. I was more afraid of me dying and my house was not in order. If that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, sure. That is I important to have that all in order. But I and tell you was... what, when that plane landed, I bet you all them people on that plane was glad I was praying. <laughs> I bet you they were. Amen. My yeah. son and I, we were doing a, we were going on a cruise. Uh, mother, daughter, he was graduating. So we were going to go on a cruise. We left two, we were supposed to leave two days before the cruise. And then for a winter storm, so our plane first plane was delayed. And then we got partway there and stayed overnight in Toronto. And then we sat the next day, sat on the tarmac for five hours. And they wouldn't tell us why we were sitting there. Yeah, stuff like that is. So by the time we left there to get there, the uh, boat was just taking off. So we missed the cruise. Ooh, that's not good. And what oh. did I learn? What did I learn from that? To buy insurance because it wasn't covered. And I'm glad you said that. That, just wow. that was not an experience that I was happy about. <laughs> I guess not. Anyway, well, thank you so much for participating. I love interacting and learning about. Oh, people. I have to it's add just... one. Oh I yes, went... please do. So my brother doesn't live in Southern Illinois. Well, he does live in Southern Illinois, but before that he lived in Louisiana before the last bad hurricane. And we went down there um, five years ago. And I have, I've keep telling myself over and over, I'm going to travel the way I want to travel. There will be no more sitting in so many passenger van traveling overnight not staying in a hotel so i can get sleep even if i'm driving because and then being told oh you don't have enough room to pack that because i am going to be sending a bunch of stuff your brother and so i'm going to use all the underseat uh storage to uh be packing extra stuff so you're only supposed to pack this much even though you're going to be there for six days oh, so i've decided i'm if it requires a rental car <clears throat> so I don't have to travel with them staying mm -hmm. overnight in another hotel. Um, yeah, my sleep is precious to me and my comfort. And I, I'm honestly, I, I don't mind family vacations, but we will not be going together. So anymore, that's that. You will meet them there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, what was that, LaDonna? I said, uh, Teresa will be meeting her family there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And it's hard to travel as a family because everyone has something else, especially when they get older. You know, when they're young and kids, you can just tell them to buckle up and get on your laptops or whatever. But <clears throat> when you're all adults, everybody wants to do something different. Mm -hmm. They want to eat something different. They all have to go to the bathroom different times. Blah, blah, blah. And dad oh. is always right. Dad is always right. Always. True enough. True enough. <laughs> no. Anyway, I was going to quickly go over a couple tips for six steps for an effective business trip. First one would be make your travel arrangements well in advance. Because you you never know what you're going to get, right? 
Then you, you want to select your accommodations based on both price and convenience. So who doesn't want a better price, right? Then you want to create your itinerary, research your destination, remember your electronics, accessories, and travel, travel documents, and prepare for the meeting that you have in place. So those are just, from what I understand from everybody saying is there are so many important things that we do need in traveling, not just um, especially our laptops and our phone and stuff like that to connect because that usually is where all of our important information is. Is there any other advice that you guys would give to prepare can you put those six business. items in the chat yeah absolutely for me it would also be a cpap machine and supplies one time i traveled somewhere and i brought everything but the cord that was still attached to the wall i thought i oh, had the no. whole thing so if I go, if I go, I know what you mean about sleep being precious, Teresa. Um, if I go without my CPAP for even two or three hours, I'm like a, a dead zombie the, for the next week. It takes a while for my body to catch up. So. And you know, those darn phone chargers, I don't know how many times I have had to buy a phone charger on the road because someone forgot their phone charger. It just happens. It, it happens. Or, you know, they brought the one for the hotel, but they didn't bring the one for the car. And like when I take my grandkids, my grandkids all have iPhones, but Mark and I have the Samsung Android. So we use a different cord. It, you know, we've, we've just, it just happens. We have to find... The last time we went to California, we flew with the three oldest grandchildren, and um, it's been a few years now, but I land up, um, Mark was supposed to bring the car charger for our phones, and he did not grab that. He left it in the other car. So we had to find a Verizon store so that we could make sure it was right. So there you go, you know. And I forgot my the cord charger for my phone, and I had to buy one at the airport, and that was the most expensive wire I have ever bought in my life, and that I held on to very, very tightly, and it's like, it is so precious to me, because it's like, I can't believe I just spent that much money, but I needed my phone charged. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's just, we all do it from time to time, that's for sure. Um, yes. So, okay, Heather, go ahead. Okay. So what my company business is, is that we have a free membership, travel membership. So, so you can join for free. You can get discounts as you stay in hotels. So as you're driving along and you need to stay at hotels. So it's five star lifestyle at three star pricing. So you get a free membership. And if you save $20, I actually make $10 off of you. So that's the only time I get paid, but you get the free service. So that is what I love to do is just to bring um, value to other people. So it's like a boomerang, you throw it out, it comes back, whether you ever use it or not. But I love the fact that it's a platform and I was looking actually at cruises today and I'm like, hey, if I booked on here, I could go to a balcony and save $600, which to me would be $300 that I would get back from that. I'm like, that is really super cool. Anyway, <laughs> so I want you to reach out to me if you're interested in that, because I would love to chat with you more about it. And see what we can do and have a conversation and I can learn more about you and what you need with traveling because it's more than just travel. We just came back from Florida and we actually went to Bush Gardens 
Thanks. And it was a hundred and fifty dollars for each of us to go for the day. Plus, we had all our our meals taken care of. So for us Canadians, and the site actually mm -hmm. is for your currency when you're doing it, and there's no extra charges. We made the mistake. My husband booked a hotel when we stayed in Toronto um, on our way to Florida, <laughs> not off off of my platform. But he booked it, and then there was a bunch of added costs after. It was, that was way too expensive. I'm like, so I could have booked it through my site for a better price. But he thought he was getting the better deal. So you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> yes. And uh, her platform is similar to like an Expedia. You know, yes. you go online. I was say that. Yes, you just go online and you look to see about your accommodations, your ho the way I understood, right, Heather? Flight, hotel, rental car, amusement parks, whatever it is that you're looking for. And you can yeah. save for doing that. And there's no there's no charge for you to get onto the platform. Do you have that link in the chat, Heather, for them to sign up? No, but... I will put my uh, email again and you can um, email me and I will be, I will talk you through <laughs> as much as it's easy to say, sign up. I can actually walk you through doing it properly because, you know, life happens and you go, oh, I'll do it later. And then it's like, ah. so yeah, reach out to me. I would love to. <laughs> And you know, the sure good thing about uh, why, while she's doing this, and you're going to say, why aren't we talking about travel on Monday Mojo? Well, we're talking about travel because sometimes when Mark and I just get away for like a day, a few hours, a night, a weekend trip, it doesn't have to be a long trip. It clears my mind. Mm -hmm. It's time for him and I, I forget what I'm supposed should be doing if I was at home I'm not doing it because I'm out you know doing something with him so it doesn't have to be a long trip it can be maybe I want to go down to the Arboretum in Dallas well before I do I'm going to look on that site first to see if I can get my tickets less because let me tell you what all of these things have went up Food, getting in the door, everything has went up in price so much. Um, so it doesn't, I don't want you to think it has to be a whole two-week vacation or something. Just anytime you, you have anything planned, go to the site first and see if they have something that you can save on. And then I didn't hear you say anything about feeding the children. I didn't, but for every membership that you get, they actually feed a nutritious meal to a child in need. So, so it is a win-win situation in so many different ways, and it's a free link to sign up to. So, what harm is there to help a child in need? Because you so, know, there's always a way to give back, right? Right. So there's like seven of us here besides Heather. We know she's already signed up. I'm already signed up. So if the six of you sign up, that means out of out of this group, eight kids get a meal for free just for signing up. And it costs you nothing to sign up. You don't have to buy anything for the kids to get their meal. You just have to sign up. And I think yeah. that's a wonderful thing that the company is doing. Um, so yes. Thank you for reminding me, Donna. I was like, it was something that I was going to say. <laughs> and then, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's easy. It's easy to forget things or go past, but I think that's such an important thing that this company does. And I love it. I love it. Um, what other questions do we have for Heather? Yeah. What so my sister had to, um, she was doing a thing for my mom when we visited my brother and uh, he's about eight miles from Paducah, Kentucky, because uh, right there on the Illinois, Kentucky border. And she wanted to uh, get a bread and breakfast where we'd stay. And um, she, my sister did say that she did all the arrangements through a thir third party site, but she wasn't knowing whether or not they served breakfast until she got there. 
And so, but she did find out later that it was an extra charge. And sometimes they include it and sometimes they don't with the room. Um, is there any way to know that in advance or not? Um, they they will tell you as as like on the hotels what you're gonna get from that. So you can get weeks. Um you can get houses and villas. Like there's there's a lot of different things. But whether a breakfast is included, it would say on on the link because it, it shows you different um, hotels or wherever you want to go to. And then you pick. It's like um, like Kayak or Expedia or any of those sites. It, it usually tells you. So it's not necessarily like <laughs> you don't know which what you're going to do, but there is a, a guarantee. So if you have to cancel within a certain amount of time, you will get your money back. And do they Does allow the, do they have insurance as well to buy in case you do need to cancel in your uh, over your time? I'm sure. Let they... me look into that and get back to you because that's one thing I haven't looked at yet. I and bet they do. I'd be very uh I'm sure they would, yeah. yeah. You know, you never know. You, you never know what may happen. And most hotels and places are very um, generous. Um, we had a, um, it was one year the hurricane hit Galveston and we didn't get hurricanes, but we had several uh, tornadoes in the Dallas area. And we were supposed to go to a place in Oklahoma and stay, and we had rented two cabins, very expensive. We did not buy insurance and they, Ooh. I said, well, can I get my money back or can you just save my reservation for another time? You know, it's a, it's, it's a tragic that was going on. A tragedy was going on. I mean, tornadoes were, you know, all around us and they said, absolutely not. You know, I'm so glad that I paid with my discover card because my discover had no problems reaching out to them and saying, no. We don't do that when there's a tragedy. Right. Yeah. And I got my money back 100%. Good. Yes. And that's yeah, what I, I learned get that I will never travel again without some kind of insurance. What is the name of that insurance company? Alliance? What is the name of the travel insurance company that you can I can call? I need to call these people. I'm going well, on there's different day. ones. There's different ones that you can buy. Uh, it depends on where you purchase your airline ticket or your hotel reservation. Yeah, but I thought it was just a, uh, a I thought I could call, a, it's an it's a insurance company that does travel. Oh, I, 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 don't, call. I don't know. I was just asking her if she knew a number to any company oh. that sells insurance for travel. That's what I'm asking. I'm sorry. Yes, that was my question. That's if you have a question. number, that I could call. I know it's the name, a name of company. I always see that name, but I don't just don't have it on top of my head right now. And I don't want to look for it if you have the information. No, I don't have time to. Okay, that's all. I, I'll get. I just would. That was it for me. That yeah, I didn't be get good my to travel. know, Doctor Pat. Though I'd like to that's hear about that when you find out. I didn't get my travel insurance because I'm in the room with somebody, and I didn't want to add it on because I didn't want to get. I didn't know, so I just have to do it separately. That's all. But yeah. I definitely will get, you got to have insurance because you just don't have to know. Every time you don't get that stuff, that's when you need it. Exactly. God forbid. God forbid. Exactly, Dr. Pat. Exactly. Because you're yeah. flying to New York this upcoming week, correct? No, that, what I need insurance, well, I always get insurance. I, the only reason I didn't get insurance, that was for a cruise. Oh, that's God. in January. And like I said, the only reason I didn't get it is because I was in the room with somebody and I didn't know when I when I was paying online, I didn't know how it would affect me. But no, I'm going to Las Vegas in a few days. Oh, Las Vegas. Yeah, I need to be packing. Y'all got me, I need to be my butt up packing. But anyway, y'all, yeah, thank y'all for the motivation. <laughs> I've been sitting on this computer doing, I'm posting and scheduling posts to go out up through next week, child, and I'm doing videos and all that stuff. And I say, well, I'm on the platform. Let me go and stick my head in. Yes, please. <laughs> Um, and we're, um, I know we're almost out of time, but please, uh, Dar, get us, um, get our photo, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
okay. Um, everybody wave. And I'm getting my, oh, where is it? Keep waving. Keep waving. I was yawning. I'm getting it. And I'm even looking up. Got it. Got it? Got it. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Um, also, please, please, please post everywhere, even if you're not a speaker, everyone, please post about November 4th uh, workshop on your pages, on your social media, in your emails going out, whatever, whatever. Um, I know Abby has her link. Um, she's speaking. Um, Dr. Pat, I sent you your link this last week. I know you and I still have to talk. You sent me a link. You sent me a link. You sent me something through your email. No, I I think I sent it to you in your chat. Okay, is that a link to the event, or is that a link to uh, an affiliate program? That's your affiliate link to the workshop for the workshop only. Okay, so affiliate link to the event is two different things. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So I'm just asking: Is it the link to the event that? Yes, November fourth event. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'll check it in. I think I saw I saw the information. I didn't know exactly yes. what it was. Yes. yes. I haven't had a chance to really look at it. Yeah. But yeah, I do see something there. Okay. And and let me tell you, this affiliate program guys are really good. Um Dr. Pat brought Luana in, so she's gonna make a little uh commission off of that. Brenda Sheldrake um found me another speaker. And she's going to make a good chunk off of that because I pay 20% across the board. So it's another, just another little way to have a little extra income. Um, so if, you know, um, for me, when I get affiliate money, I'm like, okay, dinner, I'm buying dinner tonight, you know, or, <laughs> Ooh, a new top, a new dress or, you know, um, I have to find some bigger affiliate uh, programs to get in, but all of mine are little here and a little there. You got to be careful. You want to make sure you're getting in with someone that's going to pay. Um, so, Dar, do you have a question? Okay, uh, so I need you to, since you're talking, I need you to, I think it would be a great idea sometimes if we would, because systems, ladies and ladies, ladies, systems, we have, everybody has systems. Yes, and I, I, this is from my own opinion. When we are in sessions such as these, or we're on platform, just like when you had your website, I'm just making a suggestion. It may behoove you to maybe when we are on the platform sometimes to just walk us through the system. Oh, you know, awesome. you pull up your web. I'm just using yours for an example. Yes, that's you a great idea. Pull up your website. We need to see what's going on, what what the process is, because a lot of times people don't move or don't do things because we really don't know. And when we think we know and we don't know, it's frustrating. Yes, absolutely. Oh, so I'm just saying that's something. I oh, think that's, that a that's, idea. that's a yeah, wonderful idea. That's a wonderful idea. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm going more into events. Uh, not events. I'm going more into training. Yes, yes, that's and a great I, idea. Because great you idea, know, that. yeah, and you know, things this, are changing around yeah. us all the time. And it is frustrating, Dr. Pat, when you try to go do something and then it doesn't work the way we think it's going to work. It is. Yeah. Well, you just you just lose people interest and you don't want to do that. You know, so, yeah. yeah. Now, in my chat, I see two things about Mojo Monday. I don't see anything in here. About and I got the calendar link. I don't see anything in here about that event. And no. how did you go about getting your keynotes, if you don't mind me asking or I could ask you that later? I'm just curious. Oh, my keynotes, I um, individually. I don't have the flyer. I don't have nothing. Um, I individually asked them if they wanted to be a keynote speaker is how I did it. Okay. I don't have anything in here about the flyer. I don't have any, but I did. I know when I first posted, I did make a comment probably okay. before anybody else did because I like to do what I got to do. If I don't come back, I know I took care of my, I did my job, but I don't have the actual flyer. Okay. And I don't have the actual link. That's what I was asking you for. So just okay. send it when you can, sweetheart. No, I'm going to yeah, schedule with you. I just haven't had a here. chance yet. We'll have it. You'll have it as soon as we get done here. I'll yeah, do those it. of you who are on the platform from yesterday, please check your emails. I do not send out stuff twice. Don't 
I know y'all probably not, but there are times people come to me two or three weeks or a month later asking me, telling me they didn't get the email and that's not true. So I don't go back and do my work twice. So I'm just giving y'all heads up. I sent the replay out as well as the, um, as well as the chat. And I don't want anybody to come to me because they do it all. Somebody always does it. And I just don't, I tell them the date. I did it that date put my name in the search and they'll find it. I do tell them that because it's not fair to us when we have to do our work twice. And you know what I'm going to tell you, that's another thing that Dr. Pat taught me is I did not realize you could do a search in the emails to find what you're looking for. And Dr. Pat is the one that showed me that because I was one of those people that said, Dr. Pat, I did not get that. Now that was oh probably close to a year ago. And she said, oh, let me show you how to look it up. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. I didn't know. And yes, I did get it, but it wasn't, It. I don't know how I didn't find it. It wasn't in my spam. It was where it was supposed to be, but I couldn't see it. Yeah. But as soon as I pulled up Dr. Pat's name, it all came up and it's so yeah. nice. I bet it did a bunch of stuff, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice though. And I've learned over time now when like, for instance, I'm going to use Dr. Pat because her feelings won't get hurt or anything. So I like when she sent me the, the, the background for the Saturday event, I pinned that email to the top of my emails so that if somebody, cause she sends them all together that way I had mine. Plus I had everyone else's in a split second, I could get to it. If Luana called and said, well, I can't find my background. I could say, okay, Luana, here it is. See? Oh, okay. You know, so that way it's just helping each other out. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know what you meant pin. when you said pin your email. I'm like, what is she talking about? Pin an email. <laughs> you know, I normally just mm -hmm. star mine or put a, but that's good if you can pin it. I didn't know about yeah, that. Yeah, you can that's pin it. It's at the top until you unpin mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So yesterday I Do you have it. Gmail? Um yes, I have a Gmail, but that always goes to my hotmail. Okay, so you have mm -hmm. hotmail that you can pin your email to I have hotmail that pins. Yeah. You're going with your bad self. <laughs> <laughs> so see, we all learned something, right? You messed me up that day. You know out there, what is what do you mean? I know she goes, what are you pinning? <laughs> That's good though. Yeah, that's like Facebook. You can pin your stuff up to the top. So it's yes. right there. Yes. And guess yeah, what? You learn something new every day. Wow. Three years ago, you couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. They changed oh, wow. things. You know? Always. So there you go. All right. Um, so Okay, um, I think I have everybody's information in this chat. Okay. I think I have yes. I think I and uh Teresa. I don't have her. Teresa, where's Teresa? Hi, Teresa. Hi, honey. Hi, sugar. How you doing, honey? Welcome aboard, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. Welcome aboard. And Thank welcome you. Aboard, Dr. Lagada. Happy to see you too. <laughs> I want. I want to have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> there was something in Dr. Pat's ice cream, evidently. I think yeah, so. Crazy, <laughs> Yeah. All yeah. right. So make sure you go to your social media. Love you, Dr. Media. Pat. And post your pictures about today. Post what you loved about it. Let everyone know how you spent your hour. If you go to our members page, please say something. Dr. Pat, um, it's within the next eight minutes, you'll have the your link and the flyer. Okay. Um, and I do have room for one seven-minute speaker because one dropped out today. Oh, and so if anyone wants that spot, let me know and I can send you the information. It's seven minutes, the hot seat. And um, I hope it wasn't Carl. Oh, no, no, no. Carl <laughs> is, uh, um, no. Mm -mm. What does a hot seat? You know what? I'm actually looking forward to hearing Carl speak. Oh, because you know how I easy. met him? Do you know how I got a hold of him? Is he's a crafter. He's a paper crafter. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, he I plays a paper podcaster. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, the hot what does the hot seat? A what hot does the hot speaker has seven minutes. What does the hot seat? Oh, so what is that? What does that consist of? Is that just a speaker? It's just a topic. 
a name or is it something yes, special? Yes, it's just a name. Know? Just a name. I've, you know, they're in and out. Hot seat okay. speaker, seven minutes. Um, I had to drop somebody today. Wasn't feeling the vibe. So, you know. Oh, dear. Remember, I don't do drama. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, I you need my loving people do. around me and in my bubble. So, yeah. all right. <laughs> Um, have so everybody's not meeting. always a good fit. Don't forget, tomorrow morning is the Millionaire Marketplace, 10 a.m. Central Time, and Ann Leader will be here showing us how to get more sales and closing more deals. So, I have a question about the workshop. If I can't attend the whole event, will it be recorded? Yes. <clears throat> and everyone that has a ticket that has purchased a ticket will get a copy of the recording. Yes, absolutely. Yep. And please tell everyone else that is thinking about going into business, that is in business, whatever. Luana, I need you to go find me like 50 new people. Dr. Pat, a couple hundred would be great. <laughs> Neither one of them. Wait a minute. Dr. Pat's like, wait a minute. <laughs> you said, I'm trying to post this thing. You said, bring a couple hundred people, girl. <laughs> Why not? I heard you. I think that's what you said. Do you have an affiliate link for this workshop or no? I don't. I'm trying to understand what Dr. Pat was saying. Okay. So <laughs> the speakers all have an affiliate link. Oh, okay. Yes. They all have an affiliate link. Yes. So Dr. Pat is speaking. Abby is speaking. I'm hoping that the rest of you will come and speak in January. That's going to be my next one after that, I believe. January. I am not on top of it. Dr. Pat has all of her dates for every event for next year already <laughs> on a flyer. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that for a while. I mean, yes, yeah, it's calm. I guess, you know, yeah. you got to have them. Get it over yeah. with. I remember in the day when I was doing in-person events many years ago, 10 plus years ago, I had them all mapped out months and months in advance. I mean, the whole year just done. Knew where I was going, when I was going to be there, done. But I have to get back in that roller coaster again now. So just learning every I want, day. I want to be like Dr. Pat when I grow up. There you go. <laughs> and how is we all do? <laughs> I just want to be like all y'all when I grow up. That's what I want to do. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> You know what? We all do. have our strengths and we all have our weaknesses, right? Yeah, guys? just follow you. Yeah. Right. So I always tell people, follow me as I follow Christ. And we're gonna make it together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sometimes I don't know which way I'm going, but I just follow my heart. I follow Dr. Pat it. so close by, she probably feels me breathing sometimes on her. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad LaDonna still loves me because I, I'm sure I've hounded her enough about the, the links to my name. <laughs> I just love it when you guys reach out to me for help, though. That's what we're all here oh. for. So, all right, yes. everyone have a beautiful evening. I hope to see you all in the morning and we will have a great time. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye.